What's up YouTube and welcome back to Scorchers Lounge and today I have your favorite favorite pair of Jordans the Jordan 1 Mid Let's take a look at the box, baby. You have an all black Jordan standard, you know, Jordan black box. You have your gold 23 up here. You have your gold Jordan logo. And then you have your, your, your gold Jordan logo right there. Go into the label. Label reads, Air Jordan 1 Mid SE, special edition, white, black size 11 my size style code is dm7802 color code 100 for retail price of 130 dollars now i got about four or five of these bro i had about four or five of these and I got them on sale for like 80 bucks, right? And then I sold them for like 150 each. Like, COVID was wild. COVID was pretty wild. The Jordan 1 mids was selling out during the pandemic. Man, that's wild. Anyways, um, where I'm at. So let's open this up. You have your little stamp right there on the lid. You have your traditional white tissue paper with the gold 23 and then we get to the sneaker now i said it maybe i always give a double look to see if there's anything in there like a receipt uh a, a ticket uh you know whatever because sometimes i might get it i might win a ticket to get the sneaker and i put the ticket inside like i'm that kind of kind of wild guy um there was nothing in there though so now we get to the sneaker. I actually wore this once or twice. Um, I got my girl a pair, so we, you know, play matchies. <laughs> oh man. So let's start with the bottom. The bottom is your black traditional Jordan 1 bottle, bottle, bottom, with your Nike on the middle. Going up to the midsole, you have an all white midsole going up to the toe cap and the uh, eyelets you have black as i always call it cardboard leather jordan one mids quality is usually pretty bad um you have your standard cardboard leather on the toe cap and the eyelets and the nike check is also black as well going up to the side panels you have a smooth cardboard leather <laughs> I'm gonna start saying Jordan 1. Should I say traditional Jordan 1 mid cardboard leather? And then going to the toe box, you also have the traditional Jordan 1 cardboard leather. Man, I wore this two times or once, and you can see the creasing is kind of bad. Anyways, then going up to the to going up through the tongue, you have white shoelaces and then a white nylon tongue. Then we have the Air Jordan logo with Air under it on the tongue tag and guess what guys it's holographic so as you see I'm gonna start move I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you a, a visual of me moving the shoe around you can see the different colors and stuff like that when we get to the heel the back part of the shoe also have that holographic feel on the heel and the upper collar as well you also have the jordan wings logo in embossed then the tip top of the collar is a, a traditional jordan one cardboard leather panel on the on the on the collar now they coined this shoe the jordan one mid heat reactive and i will do it on foot because, yo, in the sun, I don't know. It, well, I'm going to do it. I'm, 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 it's funny because I'm actually telling you guys, like, if you're with me right now. Because I was going to say, I don't know. By the time I do it on foot, it might be too dark. So I'll probably do it tomorrow. But basically, when you see the on foot, it's going to be sunny. Anyways, um, 
The funny thing is they call this the heat reactive. When rumors of this shoe came out, everybody was hype about it. And then, you know, hype beast, right? It was all Jordan 1 high. Once it was announced that it was a mid, it was medium hype around it, right? <laughs> medium, mid, medium hype around it. Then the, it started dying down, but then Jordan himself actually had this pair on. Let me see if I can find a picture. And when Jordan had that pair on, guess what? People got hyped, right? And then the price went up. You know, it's so funny how this stuff is. Anyways, this is not heat reactive at all. So I thought that depending on the weather, because remember at that same time, they had the Jordan 1, they had the Air Force 1 heat reactive and the Easter 1. They had a few of those pairs that when you take it out to the sun or in the cold, it changes and in, in the color shifts different colors, right? This is not the case at all. This is a weird plasticky material and in the back of it is holographic. Kind of like a Pokemon card used to be back in the day. The Jordan um, 13 Eye, Panther Eye. Get what I'm saying? And it's not heat reactive at all. And it just changes colors as you, um, matter of fact, hold on, let me use this. Let me see if I could use that right there for you guys. But yeah, it's just, as you just look at it in different angles and different lighting, it just changes colors, which is still awesome. I love the shoe, that's why I got it. Um, I, I practically got this for free plus profit because I sold all the other ones for like 150 and I paid 80 for these. For all of them, I paid 80. But yeah, me and my girl both like them and you know, when you love your girl, you do matches, you feel me? So <laughs> we wore this, I think once, I don't know how many times, she wore hers a lot, she loves it. But when you have, you know, over 400 pairs of sneaks, it's hard to keep, you know, wearing the same thing. But anyways, I will do an unfit for you guys. But before I do, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me what you guys think of your most favorite shoe of all time, the Jordan 1 Mid. You know what I mean? I love Jordan 1 Mids. I did a lot of reviews on them on this channel. So, yeah, you already know I'm a fan. But until next time, loungers, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Here's the on foot.